the condition for the oil to continue to flow is that you must continue to pour. Don't, don't say people are using you. Because the day they stop to use you, you're already useless. People don't use useless stuff. They dump them. The fact that people are using you is an indication you are valuable. Lock the door. On those voices telling you that people are using you. Shut the door. And start Pouring. You are not pouring to receive. You are pouring because you've been given. The reason most of us don't want to pour into other people is because we are waiting to harvest where we have planted. The day you stop to pour is the day the oil will cease. You've stopped pouring into people. Now you are dry. The more you pour, the more relevant you become. The more you pour, the more open doors. Do you know that that woman could have been a millionaire or even a billionaire selling oil. If only she was able to understand that what she has been given is not just for her. When God brought the blessing to you, you thought it was just for you. So she kept the blessing in the house. And she does not know that if she can only take the oil out, give to the neighbors, she will get more back. Because as you give, God will pour back into you. It means that you will never lack any day of your life. She borrowed vessels, but she was not giving back. And the Bible says, and the oil ceased. If you refuse to pour, somebody else will pour. Because behind every soul is David jogging, waiting to take his place. I'm the only one doing this. I'm the only one doing that. God does not, he can't stand complain. Every time you complain, you'll be replaced. Go ask Elijah. You are not in this position because you are qualified for it. You've been appointed and ordained to be in this position. So freely you have received. Freely.